Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, so in this video, we are going to be making the ultimate grilled cheese with bacon and tomato. Yep, bacon and tomato. So here's all of what you will need to make this sandwich. Okay, I have four slices of sharp cheddar cheese, one slice of pepper jack. This is optional, but if you like a kick to your food, then this is the best way to go. And one slice of American cheese sliced tomato and some bacon of course i got the butter what's a good old grilled cheese without butter and also a little bit of black pepper okay so let's get this sandwich going so this is how i'm going to prepare the bacon for this sandwich i have here an aluminum foil pan lined with some aluminum foil hey easy cleanup for me <laughs> less dishes and it'll still come out super crispy as if you fried it in a pan or on a griddle. So you just lay them in just like that. However you can fit them. And give them some space. Okay, so let's get to the next part. There's your bacon. I'm going to pop this in the oven until it's completely done and crispy. Okay, so the bacon is done and perfectly cooked. Nice and crispy, as I promised. First thing you want to do is make sure that whatever you're going to cook this sandwich is, is preheated already, whether it's a griddle or a frying pan. So first step is to get these tomatoes cooked down a tiny, tiny bit, not much. You just wanna get some direct heat onto those. So I'm gonna place these on my griddle from like one to two minutes, and then we'll assemble the rest of the sandwich. Okay, so my grill, my griddle is preheated. So I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of a uh, cooking spray. Just a little bit, don't need much. Okay, I'm gonna add my tomatoes. And remember to make sure that your tomatoes are sliced very thin. I didn't get this one out so perfect, but hey, we're gonna eat it anyway. Just wanna get a little heat on it so it won't be as raw tasting or, you know, Hard to back down on any uh, sandwich once it's fully cooked. Okay, so it's starting to cook just the way that I want it to. So now I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of black pepper. Just a little, you wanna get it all over though. You wanna see those specks on it. You can totally omit this part if you don't like black pepper. Okay, let those go for a couple of more seconds. You want to hit the back of it with some black pepper as well. You're not going to need any salt for this because you're going to get the salt from the cheese. And you don't want to have a salty grilled cheese sandwich. All right, so that should do. Okay, I'm going to take these off of the griddle. Okay, so my griddle is preheated already. Now it's time to get the butter. 
onto the griddle. You just want to spread the butter over where you know that you're going to be placing your bread to. Take your tomato. I'm sorry. You want to take your cheese. Put that down first. Then you want to take your tomato. Then one more slice of tomato. There you go. Then you want to take your bacon. When it comes to the bacon, you can put as little or as much as you like. Try to big break that up as best as I could. Now you want to hit it with the uh pepper jack cheese because you want that in the middle okay so we're gonna let that toast up a bit Okay, it's time to put the top onto the bottom part. Whoa, uh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Just want to give it a little mash. That is beautiful. So I'm gonna flip it over to the other side so you can see that as well. That is gorgeous. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put this on a plate and we're gonna cut this open. Okay, on the plate we go. Okay, let's get this cut open. Let's see what we're looking at on the inside. Hear that crunch? All right, let's see what we got going on. Ah, oh, gotta cut a little more. Look at that, guys. Perfect. Perfection. Cheese all melted inside. Great sandwich. I must say this sandwich came out amazing.